Get free transcoding software and learn what it actually means. This is TQ Way Weekly. I'm your host, Steve Smith, aka Z Axis. And before I get into the show, all the downloads and sources and show notes are available at tqwayweekly.com slash se3 ep02. Today I'm going to be talking about transcoding, or for those who don't know what that means, file conversion. I'm pretty sure quite a few of you have downloaded a file or two or more from places like YouTube or whatever and it doesn't work with your stuff. And you go through Google searching for video converters and they're asking you for $24.95 to get a copy of the file converted without a watermark and you're probably smacking your head against the counter trying to figure out what is happening right now. So let's explain this. First, transcoding or file conversion is the act of converting a file's codec to another codec. Basically, a codec is things like MP4, Flash, Video, H.264, AVI, DVX, MP3. You already know all these names. Those are all codecs. The changing from one to another is lossy. You'll see this a lot. Well, lossy means destructive. It causes generations in the image. If you go to Wikipedia and look up some of these codecs, you have lossless compression codecs. So it does exist. There is a way of transferring the file from one to another without losing anything, but it is pretty hard to actually get your head around it or to actually use those codecs. You just have to be interested in those codecs in order to use them. So how about we start looking at, let's say, a theoretical act. So you download an FLV from a website that I already named. And of course, you can't play this on, let's say, your favorite iPhone 5. Well, what do you do? Well, you can use a free software like freemake.com to convert this file into something your iPhone can play, basically an MP4. And let's say you don't have an iPhone, but you have, I don't know why, a Zoom. Well, you can modify that file to become a Windows Media video file with the same program. It is absolutely free. All you have to do is download the video converter from freemake.com, install it, open it, drag the file in question into the main window, click the button of the file type you want and answer the two or three or four questions they have and click convert. And it does everything for you. If the file in question is compatible with iTunes and you can basically play it in there or it will at least convert it, you always have the option of using the advanced menus, create an iPod iPhone version, create an iPad Apple TV version, or create AAC version. For those who don't know what AAC is, it's Apple's MP3, basically. So basically, you can use freemake.com to convert the file into anything you need for any of your devices, or you can use iTunes for files that can actually open. Basically, two pieces of free software that absolutely does what you need. Of course, along the lines of dealing with Apple, next week I'll be talking about the iOS feature, iOS 6 feature basically, of Do Not Disturb, which is great, but I'll get more into details about this, how to use it, what it does, basically what they should have given us instead, and of course, Remember to like this episode if you're interested in today's topic, share if you think someone else might be interested, and subscribe if you wish to learn more about technology. For the show notes of this episode and other more ways on how to subscribe, get more stuff from our website like the newsletter, or basically submit your questions, comments, suggestions, and or stories, head over to tqaweekly.com. Stay safe and online. Have a great day. Goodbye. Thank you.